Hello everyone, and welcome back to Subnautica. Um, I'm afraid we had some technical difficulties last time related to um, our recording software not working. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDM. Okay, then. So, in order to come and get Ozzy and them, first thing we got to do is... Uh, well, for a start, all of these um, things right here we should probably plant. But secondly, we need to make a power cell, which means these acid mushrooms and those are coming with me. I'm going to go down and fetch some copper ore. Now that's a noise I've never heard before. Scary. Yeah, in, in a game where you are decidedly out of your environment of choice, hearing a strange noise is always bad. Very bad noise. Reminds me of a gif I saw the other day of uh, what is effectively a, um, a little snippet of gameplay from that new game they just came out with called Grounded. And I thought it was a very interesting game. However, I'm a little bit too... What's the word? Uh, scared shitless of insects to want to get up close and personal with them like that. So, for that reason, I will never be playing Grounded. Ever. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sand tiger fish. Or sand shark, or whatever you are. Forget exactly what you are, just know you look interesting as hell. 30 seconds. Okay, swim up to the surface, here we go. You know... You know what? No. No, I'm not going to spoil any endings here in Subnautica for anyone who has never played this game before. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? It's been too long. Your your protection for spoilers is officially expired. Uh, quick, uh, cover your ears if, if you don't want to hear this. Um, basically, what I was saying is... Uh... The, one of the things I really don't like about Subnautica is that they don't allow you to um, have any location to hang out with the baby sea emperors uh, once you finally hatch them and get them out of this aquatic prison that they're in deep down in the lava biome. And I always find that very annoying and troublesome. Simply because, uh, I mean, like, they're a cool as hell thing. And a repeatedly gettable source of the Karar cure. So, you know, it would only make sense to me that they should be here, you know? Okay, and we have a mobile vehicle back.
Yeah, we probably want to... I didn't realize that they could get so close. Yeah, I mean, I, I always thought that they were kind of limited in... Son of... I guess it has to fully deploy before you can get up onto it. Okay. The mobile vehicle bay vehicles. Seamoth. So now we got to go find the Seamoth parts. And before we do that, I want to get a new battery for my um, Sea Glide. That way I'll be able to uh, easily... And of course I'm short on some acid mushrooms, but don't worry, that, that's easily remediable. There. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in minus. You better run, little bug birds. Eight, seven, six, five. Okay, radiation suit. Fiber mesh and two lead? I think we could afford that, yeah. Yeah, eventually we'll be wearing a still suit and not a radiation suit. Because one of the first things I always like to do is get the necessary stuff together to, um, to seal that, uh, that breach in the drive core area because you know at that point it's it just becomes an annoyance and irradiates a massive portion of the map and we don't want that oh so yeah let me oh right it requires fiber mesh which is up here now that's electronics, fiber mesh. Okay, hold on, let me... No, it requires two fiber mesh. So let me go grab another two creep vine. Actually, do I have enough? Yeah, I got enough space. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that this volcanic thing was right here. Oh, did it just kill that rabbit ray? It did. Just erupted and killed the crap out of that rabbit ray. So sad. Poor, poor little rabbit ray. You know, here's the funny thing. So in other games where you can kill animals of all kinds of shapes and sizes, whenever they, you know, have you come across a dead animal, you can cut it up into pieces and break those pieces down. Well, here in this game, you can't. I mean, you would think that a creature as large as a rabbit ray could be broken down into multiple pieces, you know? Yeah. Okay, good, good. We have... Yeah, we have radiation helmet, radiation suits, and radiation gloves. That's all very good. And we have a high-capacity O2 tank. Now we can 
handle even the most radioactive of areas. So, moving along, let's take a look here. What else do we need? Well, for a start, we need some water. Seek fluid intake immediately. No, that's a whole fish. You don't normally see them. Yeah, usually whole fish completely disappear in my save files for some reason. Don't know what happens to them, they just vanish. So typically, whenever I find one, I'll catch it and put it in one of those uh, alien observation tank things. Because, you know, I like to have a collection of every kind of fish. That way I can eat a variety of different fish. Along with whatever crops I grow. Speaking of which, why the hell am I swimming around by hand? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, much better. Let me get some fresh water. Hmm. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. So now, with us having a very firm... Actually, have we scanned? We have not scanned a swivel chair. Where was this wreckage five minutes ago? New blueprint acquired. I like swivel chairs. Crab trap fragments? No. We've scanned them before. Okay. So, first things first, we got to scan the sea moth. And also, I'm kind of curious as to what may be hidden in here. don't know if this is just an unusually large piece of scrap metal, or if this is one of those wreckage containers stuff in them. But, because there's only one door and the rest seems to be kind of just grayed out, I'm going to say probably not. Okay. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth ninety meters. Yep, to that's the cave. Biome. That's a cave that leads down into the jelly shroom biome. Laser cutter fragment. Hey, we need that. One of three. Yeah, this place is different than what I normally remember. It's like the terrain's just sort of really out there. Ah, sea moth fragment. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. And a scanner room fragment, too. That's good. Another scanner room fragment. Ah, good. We've unlocked the scanner room completely. Bioreactor fragment. Okay, so we've already unlocked the bioreactor. Just need enough pieces of a sea moth to put together one. 30 seconds. Oh, better go up. And we are just about out of time, too. So once I make it to the surface here, I'm going to pause and end this recording here. And uh, I'll see you all next time. So, goodbye.